Hello, you wonderful people in the world of AI, and it's taking all of our jobs on Skynet. Before AI takes all of our jobs, let's actually test out some of these tools and see where they are today. And are they going to replace developers or they're just what they are tools to allow us to do things quickly. And today we're going to take a look at bolt.new, a way for you to scaffold projects quickly using AI prompting. And then I'm going to share my thoughts to let you know what I feel and just using it for the first time. I'm wondering who is this tool for? And then I'm going to share some of the tools that I like to use like V0 and cursor and why it's a better approach. So let's get started by creating an account. I'm going to click get started and it's going to take me to a screen to ask me to sign up. So I'm going to say, don't have account. Let's sign up coding after. 30 at gmail.com coding after 30 my super secure password that I don't know what it is make sure we confirm it so now that I'm signed in let's go ahead and check it out I'm gonna go ahead and add a prompt generate a dog daycare website with a calendar for folks to be able to schedule appointments use Astro with vanilla JS and Tailwind for styling let's let it go ahead and do its thing. Now that it's generating a project, I think it's cool that it's able to do that, but it does leave me with one question. Who is this for? Because maybe I don't want to start with the whole project. Maybe I wanted to structure my folder structures differently. Obviously this is Astro. So there is a certain way of structuring your folders, but as this continues uh, to do its magic, is going to show us what it created. And here it shows us our website, which is amazingly styled. It has schedule now. And this is my calendar and I'm not really able to do anything. Anyway, this is definitely a surprise because this is less working than I thought it was going to be. So let me try this one more time. I'm going to say that that was a fluke because I think it could do a slightly better job. So I guess my point while this is doing this thing again is that I don't want anything to scaffold the complete project for me to start to finish because I'm again using ambiguous language like English asking it to do a thing that I want that the LLM could interpret this in many different ways and it definitely might not do the things that I want. And so for me, I'm having hard time or trouble to figure out who is do this tool for. I know that Bolt is part of their stack bits, which is a whole cloud development environment where you could build stuff. And maybe that's a marketing ploy for them to sell more memberships to having folks using their developer platform. But for me, I'm more than happy to sticking with cursor AI and using services like V0, which I'll show in just a moment. And again, this to me, is this what we're striving for the perfection and notice how this looks slightly different here than when I open it at stack bits, let's see, stack blitz bits. I can't pronounce things. And so let's take a look here. I think it is the same project. It is the Astro project. We have our calendar components. We have our card. Okay, so now, okay, it looks more consistent. Again, still not the thing that I was looking for. And this calendar looks atrocious. This is not exactly what I wanted, but I'm not going to complain because I think this is, we get what we get. Let's do a final refactor here. Maybe we could make it better. Let's say use next JS and style using shad UI components. No. And so let's see what it comes up for. But as you could see that the issue that I have with this is that it's generating the whole project, everything all at once. And you have to play this game of what prompt that I have to give it to generate the thing that I want. And at the end of the day, it's still not going to give you the thing that you want because English is very ambiguous, very general language. Humans misunderstand each other. So LLM is definitely not going to understand uh, this prompt. But as it refactors, we're going to take a look at what the result is. And I still don't think this is a tool that I need for my personal workflow. And for me, the tools that I like to use that really help me out is I want to have the ability to use AI, but I don't want it to be in my way. And that's why using something like 
cursor editor is a much a better uh, approach for me because you could do all this stuff when you want to in line. And if you don't want to use the AI, you don't have to. And using services like V0, the way I like to use it, instead of asking it to generate a whole project, I'm just going to say generate a calendar form to allow me to select the range of dates with an with times for my doggy daycare business, you should see, and, and then again, very non clear prompting. So I definitely could do easier time with uh, prompting. And so my argument is still going to be prompting when you're trying to generate a lot of stuff, it's too ambiguous. And I like the fact that in V0, you're able to work on individual components. Nice. And so here you have a component with a calendar where you're able to pick a different range, like for instance, November 5th to the 15th and so this is cool it's working better and what i like about it is that i'm not trying to do too much all at once and i have access to the code that i could copy and paste bring it into cursor and work individually and for me this approach of doing smaller things more concentrated is way better than what bolt is trying to accomplish so looking at Bolt that and type of things that I do, I just don't see any need for me using Bolt to generate a project unless you just want to do basic boilerplate. But then again, the, why not just use the Astro CLI or Next.js CLI and then start from scratch? So to me, I don't really understand where this fits in. Let's take a look at our preview. And again, something happened. There is no preview. Let me refresh. Let me open it stack bits. Let's see if that works there. And so this is to me is problematic. And now that I see that stack bits is the default kind of cloud code editor that folks can use, that's cool. So I think if I had to guess the whole point of that demo of scaffolding project is a way to maybe upsell the fact that you need to sign up for stack bits to use it. And so to me, I really don't see any need for this. And so for me in my workflow, using something like cursor AI, something that I use and V0, another platform that I use to quickly generate small components then I could tweak and build. I think that's the way to go. So I just wanted to make this video to give you my first take and impressions of using bolt.new. I don't think I understand where it fits and definitely correct me in the comments. You all amazing geniuses. Cause I, I have no idea what I'm talking about but it's just my opinion and how it fits in my development flow. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me know if you tried bolt.new and how you felt like it. Let me know if you tried V0, if you use cursor or copilot, I think AI tools, they are what they are. There are tools for developers to use. The goal for us is to figure out how automate the boring stuff and to allow us to be more productive. So we could spend more of our brain power or time thinking about interesting business issues or creative ideas for products or apps that we want to build that actually solve business needs. And to me, I do like where the world of AI is going. If I had to be optimist, obviously I'm not, I'm a pessimist. So I think we're going to go to dystopian cyberpark world, but either way, it's going to be fun no matter what. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll chat with you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.